Hey guys, I'm Katie or KB Does Art and uh, this week in this modeling tutorial I'm going to attempt to model a computer mouse. So um, I haven't done this before so uh, stick with me. Let's go ahead, I think I'm going to start with, let's do a sphere. So let's see, this computer mouse, let's go ahead and squash it make it a bit longer, kind of like that. So next thing I want to do is kind of like shape these sides. So go ahead, um, click B. So you'll see we have soft select mode. Now what we can do is um, we can like select a face and it'll adjust faces around it. What I want to do is um, double click on this tool right here, so you're in tool settings, and then go to soft selection, and then make your fall off radius like one, pretty small, like that. All right, so now you can see it'll affect a small portion of um, our mesh basically. So I'm going to select these three, and then I'm going to just push those guys in, kind of like that. And then you want to try and get the same three on the other side. So it looks like it's those guys. And then just press W. Oh, make sure you deselect these guys as well. And then you can press W and press those guys into the mesh a smidge, trying to make it pretty even on both sides. All right, there we go. We got a basic shape of kind of a computer mouse going on. And then we need to flatten out the bottom. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just go into click space, go into this mode. Click B so that we turn off the soft selection. And then select these faces and delete. Let's go into object mode. Go into this, go into edge mode, select by double clicking that edge. And let's do mesh fill hole. So now our mouse is flat in the bottom. All right, so next thing I want to do is grab a ring or a torus. Let's go ahead and rotate that guy probably, let's see, 90 on the x-axis, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and want to scale that guy in. As you can see, we're making a little scroll thing. All right, let's move it up here. And then let's go ahead and make that radius zero. All right, there we go, that's better. Maybe a little longer. And then go ahead and click W. You want to push it just somewhere kind of in there. Eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like cut into this mesh a little bit. Um, but for the meantime, let's just leave it like that. All right. So next thing I think I want to do is I want to bring a couple of these faces. Go ahead and turn on soft select again. Select these faces right here and just, oh, click B, and just press those guys up to be like that. And then you can grab that torus and move him up as well. And then you can rotate him or whatever you want to do to make it seem like it fits a little bit more. Just trying to get um, kind of like a good line going right here. You can see there's a the beginning of like a little divot. So go ahead and turn off soft select, so click B. And then let's select these faces that are making this ring right here. 
There we go. Go ahead and let's offset that into like 0.1. That way we've got even more of just a little divot and then you've got that little point right there as well. All right, so next thing I think I wanna do is try and get kind of like a clear line going around this torus. And so in order to do that, I think what I'm gonna do is just create a torus. Go ahead and bring it on up here. Make the, um, make the section radius like 0.01, so it's like super thin. All right, and then you're basically gonna just move it above here. And then I'm gonna basically mold it. So scale it to be going around this guy. Rotate it as needed. You want it to basically just clip the mesh around it. So let's see. Let's select the torus, copy this rotation on the Z axis, then select this torus and just copy and paste it so it's got the same rotation. And then you wanna just go ahead and move it and then scale it so that it is the same rough size. Doesn't have to be exact. but you do wanna try and get it as exact as you can because we'll be cutting into the mesh. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and scale mine up like that so I get a bit more of a wall on it. And then just hug those sides like that, trying to get a bit closer on those edges. All right, that looks kind of close. Let's see if I can get it closer. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the mouse, select that edge that you just made. Um, I'm gonna make this edge a bit taller. Yeah, maybe like that. And then select the mouse, then the small ring. Then you're gonna do mesh, booleans, difference. So basically all it should have done is just cut like a little ring Go ahead and select that torus and then change the section radius to 0.1. Change the radius. All right, let's go ahead and do mesh booleans difference. So now we just cut out a little section of our mouse basically. All right, so um, next thing I wanna do is we're gonna do the same thing, um, just cutting down the center of our mouse. So first let's go ahead and go ahead and create a cube, bring it on up here. Scale it super thin, and then we're gonna get it to go about there. 
and then you can push it into the mesh and then you're gonna want to scale it up so that it reaches about down to like there all right before we do this cube go ahead and select your mouse do mesh smooth it's gonna just all smooth out that way when we do subs it doesn't change that much all right, so select that guy. Actually, let's push this cube in. And then you can rotate him like that. All right, select the mouse, select the cube, and do mesh booleans difference. So now I've got a little cut going through here. Next thing we wanna do is go ahead and make the same exact cut going across this guy. However, that's a lot easier to actually just select the face and to um, offset and push into the mesh. Select that ring of faces, extrude, offset it in, and then extrude again and press its thickness into the mesh. So it looks like that. All right, so that is basically our computer mouse. Um, if you want to, you can add a little like battery pack on the back. Um, I don't really think I am. Uh, you can also go through and maybe like add a cord on it or something cool like that. But um, yeah, so that's basically it for this tutorial of a computer mouse. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. I think I'm going to make a keyboard to match this guy, so stay tuned for that. Bye, guys!